welcome guys welcome back to another episode of city skylines 2020 city as you can see some stuff happened <laughs> during the while i was taking the screenshot for the last episode the thumbnail for the last episode i left the game running for a while so as you can see this district we build last episode is almost full that's the office district across there the trams i did a bit of some a little bit changes with um traffic manager i limited this road here as you saw that the traffic from this part of the city was actually using that road to get across the side when there's an avenue that's coming on here so what i did i limited this bridge to just the garbage disposal um buses public transport and uh, what else let me see oops bit of lag there public transport buses and the emergency services vehicles so only the service vehicles and public transport can use this bridge which in turn stopped some cars from actually using this whole strip to get around. So yeah, some people are still using it to just wrap around there. But it's still working. Alright, so this, today's episode, we are forcing it to move across here. But before we move across there, let's... See if you can fill up this area. This is prob this whole area here is probably gonna be a whole transport hub for the whole city once we get bigger. Because it's probably it's flat enough to put an airport somewhere. We're gonna get airports like really late in the game, like sixty thousand population. Like that's ridiculous. Sixty thousand. Oh. While we wait on that to build up, let's expand this area. As you can see, we have some demand for residential and commercial. A little bit of demand for industrial, but we already s sorted out that. Since indus industrial demand and offices are the same type of demand, we have a bit of remaining space for the industrial slash offices across there. <coughs> So let's continue this. I'm thinking of putting a roundabout there, but we'll see how traffic goes. Because there's not much people using that highway anyway. Now the purpose for me putting that on the ground is now. Let's go out there. I'm gonna have continued another tram line because the way I built this um tram hub here it's expandable in regards to lines so I can put a line on another side of the road on each of the sections also I can actually expand this out to get more lines so it is an expandable build in regards to the um <coughs> tram system So I'm thinking of doing a similar build. I'm not gonna put anything on that main road. Is that lining up there? Yeah. I'm gonna go out Let's see 40 units Just 
expand this down a bit. Why is that going into a bridge? Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, it's so annoying. I'm out just double click there. Oh frick! I really need to get a new mouse. This mouse is... Right. That solved it. Interesting area here. Probably put like a small park in there. Just to get some stuff across here. Oh, huh. thinking of that now. I put a small park there. I want like an area to put a zoo. The zoo will probably be closer to the ocean. No thinking of it because there's a building, the wheel. The zoo would be probably around here. Or here. It was actually in this area. You wanna unlock the, those squares, which means we need to hit another milestone. So I have this the um game paused. But I can build. Probably the same style I did on that side. from this so it makes a perfect square. Do the units and then we connect these. If you guys are wondering what units are you guys probably know what units are here. Yeah, if you guys watch before you probably know what unit stands for. Each from here to here, it's a it's ten units. Each square is a unit. Each square of the unit of the zone is a unit. <coughs> so that's the unit there. I just realized I'm, I am paused again. I have to do some... But that one is straight enough. Uh, public transport. Trams. Oh, I clicked that the same time the game was auto saving. Oh, come on. Game, do not crash. Right, thank you. Sheesh. The auto save is annoying, but yet it's still useful to have the auto save after what went on last episode. Let's use the to have it all. And now we... So this is going to be a separate district with a separate um, line, tram line surrounding it. Just 
So each stress track now would have its own um, line. I will fix this also. So let's see, we'll put that on the same end as this one. That means I'd have to upgrade the arm cross and stuff. That was a wrong. Stops there. Yeah, so that it interacts with the other line a bit. Just stop on this side. Stop on that side. There, just for the junction. I want stop there, and then it's looping back around to join this one. That one is a slightly lighter blue color than the other one. I might change the color of the line. I guess that. Yeah, that's it. Right. And so now that we have a line running there. interacting with each other here. What I could, can do here is uh, put some pathways in a friggin double click. Some pathways in here. Sorry for the noise in the background. Also I can up nine units across how is that that's weird yeah that works but the other one didn't work oh my god game so they have a little cross for there so they can cross the road over that bridge uh, other than that I added a new um, thing there. So weird. I may have to go up another. See. Right, yeah, I had to go up another unit because the road actually gets oopsie up up right so that works that line is probably not going to be popular right now because we have to actually add the zone in. I'll add out some districts soon, so if you guys have any suggestions for the district names, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, um, let's put commercial on the whole. Outskirts of this. The zone is kind of awkward because of the road. The ground is not completely flat, but it's descent. We put commercial on the inside there. I don't want to put nothing, anything on this road just yet. Leave that just so. The commercial on the end now. 
part of this. I'm not sure yet what I'm doing with the inside of this here. Probably a park or some unique building is going to go there. We'll see how that goes. Now to run the water. This are connected to there. So they're all connected up to the water line. Power should be good. Some pause and that's for the game. Let's see how they build up across here. Alright, so anytime today. Some time today. Oh come on, seriously. You build way out from the oh my lord, it's the skylines. It's like the power connection is quite here. Why did you start building quite there? Common sense dudes. Common sense. Let's see the new tram line is building up it. That's the new the blue line is pretty popular so is the red line green line is not that popular yeah. the orange line is a bit easier oh whoa I just realized I forgot that I had a line on this side. Oh my god. So those guys have no access to crossing because I limited the crossing. Oh frick. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Ah uh, frick. Oh bloody hell man. Thank you. Sheesh. Alright, so now they have a way to cross. My bad, I limited the cross into that line. So let's see. Hopefully we get some more popularity on that line. I think that's the line that's going to the um industries public transport is that the is the dark orange line oh no that's the line that's actually going up to the hill hill no one it was again we just hit grand city 18 thousand population wow it is going pretty fast yeah that's the tram line that's going up to the hillville town up here right here. Uh, that's probably because there's a stop. No, there's no there's not a stop there. A stop there.
Yeah, that's a stop right there. That's, a, that's not what the traffic is close to me. That's what I don't think so. Anyway. Tram system is working better now. Should get a bit more popularity on the sign because I added the crosswalk to that side, so should get a bit more people wanting to go across there. But right now the main lines are this, the blue one, and the oh, we have a little bit of people going across there. Let's see. These guys are totally out of power. Are you kidding me? Oh frick. Let's build some hospital. A little building. I'm just putting on stuff there. To connect them to the power line right now. Finally. Are you guys at power? Oh, we need some more... Oops. Right. Now we have some power and a bit of popularity down here. Our demands are back settled, so I shouldn't have any worries for demands now, in regards to that. We have a way those guys can cross from there today without even having to cross the road. Ooh, that villain is tall. This stop is getting a bit more popular. Now it's also a direct connection to this road here. So it's getting a bit more people. And also kind of a connection to this road too. So all stops are connected on both sides. So while the population grows slowly, let's see how the parks are doing. The Rosewood Nature Park. That's a crazy name. The Rosewood Park is doing good. It's to level four. Almost a five star. We added these just before I um recorded the last episode. I added these um fishing areas. Let's see. We are almost a five star. We just need a bit more um entertainment. We can just get this to five star right now. Five hundred more entertainment. Another very tall tower. Another side. Not there. 
I think I'm smaller than this. And there we go. We finally hit the five star. Now that we're five star, let's add this one down. It's already here. Right. And I just got the achievement for the um, nature reserve with every possible building in it. This here makes not much sense, but it's the really cares for its entertainment. Wow. That's ridiculous. Oh my lord. Oh that. That looks ridiculous. Wait. That looks much better. Sheesh. It's cool. Very cool. It's looking over the water. Right, so we got the nature reserve of the five stars. Let's see how the city is doing in regards to traffic. On a whole, that's probably terrible. Uh, city traffic. Where is that door? Where is that? There is. Hawk Heart. Well, we know that is still the main area of traffic. That's 79% 79 traffic. Dress up to 78. And the main backups are like the roundabout. Well, it's not really backed up, but see, it's just it's r a lot of cars on that area. Here is back. It's actually backing up. Oh. That is the main, main entrance to the city. I forgot to speed up the game again. It's the main entrance to the city, so it's a bit backed up. Second entrance is not that backed up. The trams should help with the whole um, transport issue. So we should have less um, cars on the road soon. Alright, I have an idea for next episode. Ooh, this thing is getting a bit popular. Let's see how the line that I had cut off from everything is doing. Uh, it's not that popular. It's the head side. It's the hill side line there. It's not that popular. So most of the people that's coming off the red line is going to the purple, oh, the purple line. Interesting fact there. Did not expect that. They're going to the purple line which is supplying the new area that we built this episode. So far it's building up good. Commercial is maxed out. We have some demand for offices slash industries. Industry slash offices, same thing. We can do we can put some offices in the middle. I was gonna put parks there but put some offices. Auto save. Let's see how we're doing on education. Oh uh, elementary school, we need one down here. And one on the other side. High schools, we are very low on high schools. Okay. Uh, we can do it in high school. Uh, whoa, 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 we are out of power. Drop a high school there. Universities are alright. High school is back up. We need. Huh. What was there? 
Let's deal with the power issue. So the water is coming from this direction. I can't build a dam right here. I'm not sure how the flooding is going to work out. We'll see how that works out. Better than I hoped it was going to. Alright, let's just connect that. Uh, extend this out. Let's go. 50 units. And connect it down. Alright, so the main focus of the episode today was this new district here and the dam, so I'm not sure which one I'm going to take a screenshot of for the thumbnail. Next episode I'm probably going to try to focus on adding some more commercial as you see we have a demand for commercial in the city, that's tomorrow, I'll focus on getting some more commercial, also probably game glitch there. Probably some more commercial and something else I'll probably add. So now we have the dam that's producing a bit more power. Should have enough power. Yeah. Right, as I was saying, some commercial and probably add metros. A metro system within the existing tram system. Yeah, that should work. Alright, let's see the stats on how well. Seeing that the Tram system is the main route of transport right now. It's doing pretty good. 1,292 people per week and 12 tourists. Tourist. I don't know why I said tourists there, that's not a word. <laughs> So we're doing good on the transport. The dam worked better than how I hoped it would. But, well, sometimes it works better than you think it would. It's only supplying 80 megawatts, oh my lord. It only was supplying more than that. I would, in fact, just before I wrap up the episode, I know it's a bit longer than usual episodes with the frig. Yeah, I have just spot up. I would, in fact, have to move. Where is the. have to move these guys up. So, pause the game there. To move these guys up to the other side of the. dam so they pull from the actual leak that's created behind the dam for 
Hopefully they have power. Yeah. Oh god, the diamond is not working right now. Oh, fuck. Even if the dam is not working, we should. Oh, bloody hell, water is down. Should have enough power up here. To supply the. Oh my god, oh my god, start working quick. So the dam just decided to shut off on us. Now we're out of power. So. That's a weird predicament. Alright, so it looks like I'll have to add another power plant in here. Pick up where the dam left off. Strange. Right. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of City Skylines 2020 City. Hope to see you guys in the next episode tomorrow. It's been an uh, interesting series so far. So next episode we'll be dealing with fixing some of the traffic issues that we're getting. Like that junction right there. And a bit more expansion, hopefully. And as I said earlier on, we might just be adding, uh, integrating a metro system within the tram system to ease up a bit of the traffic as the city is growing it's now on 20k population so we need to in introduce a metro into the whole system anyway guys thank you for tuning into this episode of city skylines 2020 city hope you guys enjoy see you guys in the next one tomorrow all social media links is down below in the description drop a like and a subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified when i release the next episode of city skylines see you guys in the next one ash boss is out